That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? I visions where we motivate the blind stimulate your mind and welcome all kind ladies and gentlemen I have a very interesting topic today and simply because this topic that we're going to focus on as well as a little bit more we're going to dispel some uh, myths rumors about this particular uh, uh, country that we all know of as uh, Guyana but before we do that Thanks for subscribing, you new subscribers. And for you old subscribers, I am elated to still have you with me because you have been riding me with me from day one and you have helped me reach this point at uh, uh, in time in which this YouTube channel has flourished a bit. So with that being said, continue to support. Hit that like button. Um, make sure you share and you, make sure to comment as well. So stay tuned because we have a good one for you. I'm going to be speaking with a gentleman all the way from Guyana. That's in South America. His name is Sion, and he will be talking about uh, the different cultures there and hopefully dispel some rumors that ha has been uh, went, you know, just, just overflowing us over the years with the Guyana tra tragedy just to change the myth about what you have about Guyana so with that being said <clears throat> the title which I have uh, Guyana is known more for than the Guyana tragedy so with that being said I will have Sion step to the stage and help me and help us and help you dispel that rumor welcome to the show Welcome. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here today. Can you speak up a little louder? Can you hear me better? Much better. Uh, tell everybody who you are, uh, how long you've been living there, and um, just a little bit about yourself before we talk about the culture and things of that nature. Okay. It's a privilege to be here today. Greetings, everyone. My name is Sion Relox. I'm from Guyana, which is located in South America. I'm part of the Caribbean as well. Um, a bit about myself, um, I'm 24 years of age. I'm a Club Youth Ambassador for Education. Um, uh, I've been blind uh, by approximately like 8 to 10 years now uh, due to complications cataracts, uh, repressed and attachment, etc, etc. Um, I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Guyana. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Okay, now, give us a brief history, because I didn't know that it was part of, Guyana, Guyana was part of the Caribbeans. Give us a little brief, hist a little bit more history about Guyana and its cultures, and uh, if someone were to visit your country, what, what, what would they expect to find there? Because, uh, like I said, over the years, Guyana has been known only to me uh, as far as the, the Guyana tragedy and things like that. So tell them some positive things about uh, this particular country. Well, it's more to Guyana than um, the old day, the, the long decade ago for the, the tragedy with Jim Jones, etc. But there is more to Guyana. Um, the other dead youths at the time who have grown out to be an adult and, and great leaders have changed that kind of um, tension that we had a few decades ago with Jim Jones. And um, as we speak, Guyana is known as well as a good tourist destination. You know, we're very rich in diversity, we're very rich in culture. So we are, um, we are a multi-ethnic um, country as well. We, we have like six, seven different races here. Um, we have so much offer in terms of like culture. If someone, you know, would choose to visit a country, I would highly recommend Guyana as that destination. Um, for the reason of um, we have Boat Beach. We have um, we have uh, we can get uh, like river tours. 
you have um different uh, places like sites you have monuments you have different factories and those different things courses you can visit um we have one of the la the 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 largest um um yeah uh as well recently you have um you should know i don't know but um we have um we started to drill aisle here so when things would even get much more better right now you know infrastructure and so it's very it's very cool so i would recommend anyone to use guyana as a tourist destination okay great now you spoke on the the diversity uh of uh, of groups there give a little breakdown if you if you can about um the percentages of um uh ethnic groups that re make up the um population of guyana okay great so basically here in guyana the population is, is basically divided in a tree which is indians the africans and the Amerindians. Those are the three largest ethnic uh, group in this country, but it's being dominated between the Africans and the Indians. So there is a competition between the African and the Indians in terms of population. Because at some point, the Indians can be greater than the African country at some point. Okay, and what is the what is the language of uh, that's spoken there in Guyana? Okay, so um, Guyana. Well, we have more than one language, but our native language is um, is English because if you know, we're under the the, the colony of the British. And what do you speak mostly? Uh, what, what language do you speak? So um, the average Guyanese would speak. Release, which is broken English. But besides that, our native language is English, and I speak English, Creolese, all in one. Okay. Now, for people like me, who may have a little, uh, a little knowledge, but not that much, uh, as as, a, as opposed to the geography, uh, tell me as well as the audience where exactly is Guyana located? Um, you, you said it's in South America, but more specifically, uh, where? So, geographically, Guyana is part. Guyana is located in South America geographically, but Guyana has formed part of the Caribbean as well. After signing certain memorandum of understanding, and because we were because we were we were under the the, the British colony, we also is part of the Commonwealth. Okay. So we Great. have things that we are also republic, republic country as well. We both we, we have both a president and a prime minister. So we have okay. a system they call parliamentary. We have a part we have the parliamentary system here. Okay. Because we are part of the Commonwealth due to the you know, the ruling of the Queen at, at that time. Make us a part of the Caribbean. Okay. And I love the way the, the Caribbeans speak. I love their their, their, their accent. Um, as we move forward, let's talk about like um, let's talk about the the, the the makeup of individuals who are uh, visually impaired. Since this channel sort of uh, simmers around that, what is the makeup of um, individuals who are visually impaired, be it um, blind, be it uh, hearing impaired, or what have you? What's the population? What's the makeup? Um, it's in the thousands. It's in the so, thousands presently because um, yeah, I really don't know the stats out here, but um, it's in the thousands. We are very large in population with persons with disability generally. Okay, and the employment rate there because the you know over here in the United States is a high employment unemployment rate I'm sorry for um, individuals who are impaired uh, more so uh, um, visually what about over in in your country are are, are a great many well, of well, go ahead well here in Guyana um, you don't really find much 
visually impaired or blind persons um, being employed, um, you can count the few, you can count it. Some is, is you can hand count it. Very, very limited. Um, the tense here really in the person, well, employers don't really acknowledge persons with disability in general here in Guyana because the stigma attached to us is that since we have an impairment, we are unable to function or work in a work environment. So, you know, because the, the, because the awareness is not so much here, the discrimination, etc., that kind of like give us, that is a barrier of itself. Wow. Well, you've you've been fortunate enough to fight through those barriers. How were you able to um, to persevere and and receive the the education that you've received? Okay. Um. Well, I lost my sight in twenty eleven, and since then, I have uh, managed to overcome the whole situation. And always, um, felt as as though that um I can, you know, overcome all obstacles, barriers, hurdles anything that come my way i always had a drive to succeed and do good and i always love to spread my wings and reach out to others to even make others even better and uh i was awarded a scholarship by the government of Guyana to pursue a bachelor's degree in education at the university of Guyana, which i did besides that um i'm very much um active within organization volunteers etc uh, mostly international organization championing for like education, human rights, peace. So, okay. Now, w would you? Uh, that's great. Now, would you? Would you say that the opportunities are 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 kind of limited for individuals who are, let's say, visually impaired, because there's a great uh, deal of stigma uh, that's that's added um, to being visually impaired or uh, impaired. In any, in any other way, shape, or form? Well, yeah, I, I would want to say that. I would want to think that the opportunity is very much limited because daily you can hear if you, if good, if I'm to sit down and have a conversation with my peers, um, you'll find the whole, well, majority, at least two thirds, two thirds of the, of the, uh, the my, my peers are not employed. Like I said earlier, Right, and I would reiterate that just a few, and I can count it, that are employed. Okay, all right. And then, and the and those who are not able to, what 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 do they do? Just you know, mainly just uh, sit at home or do factory jobs or what? What do they do? No, oh, well, the same thing is like I'm saying, both public and private sector refuse to acknowledge persons with disabilities. Here in Guyana, the government of Guyana and these supporters, they very um, small amount by giving us something that you call public assistance slash social assistance. Mm. That is not that much. Wow, that is basically, you know, it's not that it's it's a, it's a little different here in the United States, but you know, it's I mean, from speaking with other individuals from other parts of the country and world. You know, it's basically the same, but it, you know, it definitely depends on the opportunities that you get. You have to take them whenever you can get them, and and, and try to persevere. What about any equipment that's uh, offered there? What type of equipment for the uh, visually impaired uh, does Guyana offer? Well, in terms of um technology and stuff, right. we are lacking behind with technology to persons with disability, especially visually impaired. Um, someone who can see can mambo because. Um, they don't have to get like access to technology, someone who can see. But of course, if it's blank, we now have to either get a friend to give us a copy of jars or find jars in some some manner. Because the the system here, they don't they don't have those kind of things for us. You go into an office, the office don't have no jars on a computer, nothing at all. So the all of course the computer that is what satisfies us. Okay, and what about forms? Go ahead. No, we don't have no form of like advanced technology here that you know that can enable us to even be much more efficient. Wow. And what about forms of travel? What forms of travel are, are do, do do they Okay, so we only have the public transportation, which we have to pay for out of our own pocket. 
and that as well can be a challenge at times because some bus some bus drivers and so I was refused to pick up pick up our points with this bill tech question as blind as well or being fair because the driver always say, Oh no, of course you gotta get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up and that as well can be a challenge. Wow. And uh as far as the the the, the, the cane or using a cane or using a guide dog, what do mostly but, uh visually impaired people travel with? But here in Guyana you don't find um, vision computer blind using guide dogs. Um, you don't even find we using cane. And in order for us to get a cane, sometimes we might be able to get a cane from the Mission Health or the National Commission Disability or the Blind Institute. But that within like every year or something. I myself presently need a cane. My cane is not good. So that's what you that's your form of travel? A cane? Correct. Yes. And what is the name hey. of the organization? And what's the name of the organization that uh, sort of uh, donates these these particular pieces of equipment? Well, um, the the, the, the equipment is being donated through, well, it's being distributed through like the, the National Commission Disability or Ministry of Health, I guess, every time. Okay, so, uh, speak up a little bit. What was the name of the organization? The name of the organization is the National Commission Disability Ministry of Health mm. and I guess Ministry of Human Service and Social Security. Okay. Now, um, as we uh, segue to another topic, because this is very much interesting, um, I forgot to ask you in the uh, in the top of the uh, discussion when we were talking about Guy in, in itself, uh, the, the types of foods that people over in uh, Guyana, eat what's the, what's the main type, of uh, main dishes that that are are served that's more popular than others. Okay, so um, so here in Guyana, we can we have a, a wide variety of um, dishes that we can select, but mostly our special main dish we have cook up, we have fried rice, we have Spanish rice, we have chong mein, we have carrot rice, you know those kind of things we have. With like main dish, but uh, we have vegetables as well that you know can also consider as a main dish. Mm. Okay, that sounds that sounds nice because I'll, I'll try any dish, so that's you know that's definitely it sounds appealing to me. Um, as we because we bounce back and forth, I'm uh, ask you about uh, braille when it comes to uh, uh, what source of um, how, how how are blind people able to. Uh, you know, read their material. Do they have Braille there, or com you know, I know they have computers, and it, you know, as you mentioned, it's not that much of a, a widespread of technology. But uh, is there Braille um, that these blind people use over in uh, Guyana? First of all, okay, you would only well, you would mostly find the 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 the, the elderly folk um, will know to read Braille, but people like me and younger won't know to read Braille that much. But for me, I've never went to school for the blind. I don't know to read real, period. Wow, okay. I only, so most of I only, all my stuff are electronic. Electronic. Would you like to read real one day? I, I guess if I get the opportunity, I would try. Okay. Um, and, and, and another question uh, as we close. Um. Uh, oh, I've, I've lost my train of thought. But anyway, so there, there is, are computers widespread amongst uh, individuals who are, are, are vision impaired? Are they very accessible, or that's another topic? That's another situation that's that's not that you know that 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 advanced over there. Well, they have computers and stuff, but you have to buy them. You know, you won't get like the government donating a computer to you, but unless if you request it or write to them and. You know, it, it satisfies. It satisfies the, you know, that uh, this is what you're asking for and they're pleased with it. They perhaps donate a computer to you. But if you need a computer, you have to go to the store. Okay. So as we conclude, what would you like people to know more about Guyana? Uh, as, as, as we mentioned at the top uh, of the uh, interview, that Guyana is no more. For then the the guy in the tragedy, 
what do, would you like to know some positive things about Guyana if anyone's interested in visiting your country? Okay, so um, I really like to take this opportunity to or to remove that stigma, that is it's long gone. We no longer have those kind of things here, like Jim Jones and those. We are a better country now. I think uh, it's, it's, it's much more better than then now. And we are growing stronger together as the island producing nation. And, you know, we can accommodate any kind forever. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for coming on Third Eye Visions. I really, I really, uh, you know, appreciate the, the the information that you've given me, and it's, it's been, you know, very, uh, you know, enlightening in most aspects. And um, hopefully, you'll be able to return and and, and become a, a member of this particular show, which is Third Eye Visions. Do you have any last comments that you want to um, add? Um. Well, I would really like to just, uh, you know, thank you for having me here. And I really appreciate being a part of this program. And I well, really hope in the very near future to contribute much more to this program. Um, I don't, I think that's all for now. Okay. Well, continue to share the, the stories that you see on Third Eye Visions. And, and again, Sian, thanks for appearing on Third Eye Visions, man. Okay. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all?